Good morning, YouTube. Well, it's an SBE um, bench here at the moment. All right, uh, what we have here is an SBE Sidebander 4. This is a 23 channel version. I haven't shown this on uh, YouTube before. Uh, this one is r really, really clean. Um, it arrived, I bought it, it arrived not working. The normal parts, um, uh, I replaced the obviously the bulb, put in a white LED. Also in here, this had all burnt out, it was brown. So replaced the backlighting and put in a non-intrusive LED. Now this radio is, um, uh, got the TX stage working. Uh, I replaced only a handful of caps. Uh, it uh, currently puts out around about 25 watts PEP and about 20 watts uh, average. All right, so the problem with this radio is that even after a, a bit of work in the PA stage and the back end, there is still some dry joints on the receive side. And I just want to show you a quick, a quick uh, trick on how to find out and isolate where in a rough way where those areas are. Now, if you're TXing, if you have got TX problems, i.e. with this, um, what I normally do is um, TX and start up here around the relay. You can see here, it's just a, um, an RF friendly screwdriver and we just push on it. Can you hear that? It's got, the receiver's gone dead. So it appears that we've got a problem somewhere around about around here with a component. Now this is the relay area here. On these models, you generally get a bit of a problem here, um, and then coming in and around the, the the final the final areas over here. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that that's what I do. Um, the process from here is a process of elimination. You start on a small area. I work under the microscope, under the sorry, the magnifying glass. Remove the solder on one pad at a time in different areas, and then apply fresh solder. And and I do that until the radio becomes stable. That's how we fix this one. That's how we fixed this one and two others that I have so just wanted to give you um, uh, that bit of information it's not as scary as uh, well it shouldn't be as scary as you, you can't really do much wrong uh, from a perspective of a, a soldering perspective I use a very fine tip and I use a, a mixture of soldier, solder suckers and uh, wick um, solder removers and you just start at one pad at a time and work on your solder flowing techniques all right um, I suppose you want to see oh, it's uh, this is only a, a 23 channel as you can see it's a really nice radio it's got some marks on the top bezel which these all seem to experience but from the side it's actually very good. And if we, I'll show you the underneath. All right. So that area around that relay is where we're getting most of the the problems here, and in and around this area here. As you can see, I've already replaced the where there's orange on top of the caps. I've replaced a couple of caps there. I didn't want to do a full cap replacement on this. I wanted to try and keep it original as much as possible. And there you go. All right, thank you.
Oh, an addendum to the last video. <laughs> uh, just something else, a neat trick that I found a while ago, um, whiteboard markers. Um, I've got a, a pack of them there. I use them on all the circuit boards, and um, what it does is it helps me uh, work on areas which will either show areas that need to be worked on, like this area here, and or areas that are finished. And I generally use on the radios, let's say for a cap change, um, I use the orange or the red. And for anything else, I uh, work that's carrying out, i.e. what we've just discussed with the dry joints, I can go over a whole radio and then all I do is I mark on top of the solder where I've isolated the dry joint to. And then I go back and remove that. Now, the beauty of this is it's non-toxic, and secondly, it's not permanent. So as soon as I go over that with the methylated, or sorry, the isopropyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, uh, it all cleans off. So it helps you plan your work better. Um, now, this isn't a professional thing. It is just I'm an amateur, uh, in a hobbyist, I don't. Uh, fix other people's radios it is just purely little tricks that i've learned to help me get through and um, uh, work on the areas uh, with simplicity and without trusting my memory all right thank you bye